Colonel Fitzroy Peg Lennox. Please don't think that we are rude. The telly, our main link to world events, is silenced. So we're here to see ourselves that which we're told to fear. Without some guarantees, our town shall be concerned by the piratic imagery your force projects. Perhaps we are amiss in doubting you. But please, answer us this. Will you, our business interests, will defend? Or have you some more communistic aid? A revolution's far from our intent. We choose a simpler expedient. From NATO and from Europe we'll withdraw, return our islands to their ancient law, restore imperial links we've let obey, and from long night resume the eternal day we boasted once. But we rely upon the European system. If it's gone, we have been told, we shall descend it be into great wars and want and misery for all. Vile fiction. Do you think that this enormous land of ours will sink simply because it lacks a subsidy from some Teutonical bureaucracy? Malay rubber and Nigerian oil and India's great capacity for toil? Canada's aluminium and gold and silver ores in quantities untold in confidence, my friends. Your towns can bet their sun shall rise where long ago it set. For soon, correctly organized at last, our kingdom's worldly wealth will have surpassed America's. If you resist our claim, what other remedy for England's shame do you propose? It's that then I must go prepare my force to strike another blow against the dead weight of icky Windsor's rule. Give my regards to Brum and Liverpool. Inform them well what their new king would do. And bid them carefully to think of them.